All right, let's talk about Lapis. Can this get any more blue? Seriously. Wow. That is the deepest blue. Oh, it is just amazing to stare into this. Look at those deep blue colors. And this is, there's no surprise at all that this is associated with the third eye chakra. And Lapis is one of those stones where this has been highly regarded and sought after since the beginning of time. I mean, since the beginning of history, this is associated with royalty, kings, wisdom. I mean, and you could see why. If you're a king, wouldn't you want your crown adorned with some... Uh, lapis jewels i mean look at this stone you could get lost in, in the ocean of blue it is just remarkable absolutely remarkable and this is a polished beautiful piece lapis also is nice in um rough specimens but it really really pops when it's polished up like this it's just it's, it's incredible so no no surprise that kings and, and royalty, everybody wanted this throughout time. And it's just like a status symbol. And it grew from there. But wow, look at this. Um, most of Lapis, I think, comes from uh, Afghanistan. But it's it's found everywhere. It's, it's a, absolutely stunning. So, like I said, this is has everything to do with the third eye chakra. Um, here's another little example. And a lot of times too, you can see pyrite mixed in because it is found with pyrite. And you can see all those little tiny flecks of gold in there. That is the pyrite actually throughout there. And it's just beautiful. You, I'm sure you can see it there. But, um, this there's no there's no question this is for the third eye chakra it's also good for the throat chakra for communication and stuff but it really excels with being all things psychic and i ever since i've been a little kid have been drawn to that all that kind of stuff whether it be you know when you're a kid you you're you're thinking about picking up stuff like with your hand and whoosh, like your mind and, and, and tossing a car across the street and all that crazy cool stuff. And you're, you're, you're watching all that awesome stuff, the cartoons and the, um, all, all that crazy stuff on television, the superheroes. And I mean, if there's any type of a superhero stone, this could be it. And the thing is, no, no, you're probably not going to be able to pick up a car with your mind and toss it across the street. However, if you work with this crystal and from a psychic perspective, which is, I think what most people do, you are going to have experiences. I'm telling you right now, you will have experiences. You just got to work with it. And you putting this on your third eye chakra and meditating. Now here's the only gotcha. And maybe people have different experiences. Everybody has their own experiences. But with Lapis, I find you really do need to enter a meditative state to work with it. And it's not difficult. But you do need to learn some basics of meditation and connect to this stone. And you will have experiences, I'm telling you. It's not that difficult. Um... Maybe I'll make a video on all that as well. Uh, I'll definitely have videos on connecting. What's the easiest way and how to connect to crystals. And this one, it's not commonly used passively where you could just kind of lie it on your third eye chakra, which I'm sure you can, but you really need to get a little deeper with Lapis. You got to think of Lapis like a deep pool of knowledge and wisdom. And you got to kind of get down there and you got to work with it. And once you enter that pool, it might be a little deep down, 
but it's going to be worth reaping the rewards. It, it is just incredible. So one thing that you're going to experience when you start working with this crystal, start meditating with this crystal, connecting to it in a deeper state, you are definitely going to have visions. And that's my favorite part. It's it's a visionary stone. It, it's definitely a visionary stone. It goes, this will connect you deep down to uh, deep wells of wisdom and knowledge and, and all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, there's no question why this has been so sought after uh, throughout history. But it is a psychic beast. And we're talking all kinds of cool stuff like uh, definitely connecting to your guides. Uh, this is a, a, a definite for doing stuff like that. Working with, if you want to start releasing like uh, telepathy and start connecting, communicating with things through your mind, um, precognition, uh, telekinesis, visions of having stuff like from the, the future or the past. And you never know what you're going to get, which is kind of cool. And once you start working with this, it's going to open up so many different avenues of things you never thought could be possible in, in when you're living here in this physical realm. And it's going to open up a lot of stuff that is going to change the course of your life. If you don't believe in a lot of stuff like that and you're having these experiences, well, let me tell you, it's going to change your perspective on a lot of different things. And it's going to connect you to your deep self. This goes deep. Lapis goes deep. It's going to connect you to those deep pools of knowledge. And I know all that sounds intimidating, but if you get into a meditative state and connect with this crystal, it's very easy. You just have to get into a, a, a very calm state of mind, push away all your thoughts, connect with this and let it do its job. And you're going to have experiences with it. And one thing that I found, I, f I believe this is called precognition, precognition. Precognition is like um, that very split second. Did you ever have, whether you're talking to somebody or usually it's when I'm, I'm talking to somebody and it's like there, I'm talking a split second where I know what they're going to say right before they say it. And there's no way to say, to get that out before they finish their sentence. It's, it's impossible. But you pick up on that thought wave, that pattern. You, within that split second, know exactly what they're going to say. And there's no way to, to say, hold up. I know what you're going to say. Like, there's just no way. It happens so quickly. So quickly. And I get that a lot once I start working with this stone. And that's a good indicator it's working with your third eye chakra and it's starting to develop those. It's starting to open it, balance in it, and maybe open it a little wider than normal. Um, this might not take it to that perfect balance. This might take it a little past that perfect balance where it actually opens it a little wider than normal. So you're going to let some stuff through that is going to be really kind of cool. Um, Definitely, definitely you want to get into a meditative state. And once you start working with this, you're going to have some really cool experiences. Think psychic. Think, think with an open mind. Just let it connect and see what happens. Don't try to force anything. That's part of a problem people try to do with crystals is, you know, you want, you want telekinesis where you can move a paper clip you might get discouraged after a time or two and, and really you're, you're just focused on one thing, have an open mind and let the, whatever develops come to you, whether it be precognition, whether it be telepathy, uh, past lives coming to you, let just, just open to it, connect to it and don't force it. Just let it come through. And, it is going to definitely take you on a fun psychic journey and just open yourself up to everything around you. So this is a psychic beast. You want to have some cool psychic power things going on. Now, this is the stone. This is a 
definite starting point. There are other crystals and uh, minerals and whatever else that's going to get you there as well. But this is one that has been time tested, proven, and is a go-to for everything psychic. So take it from me, work with it. Work with it. Now, let me show you my biggest specimen of lapis. And this is just incredible. Look at that blue. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at the seam of pyrite running through this. And there's a bunch of seams. It is absolutely incredible. And this is obviously, it's my favorite lapis specimen, but it is just, you could get lost in this color. Look at this. I'm going to take up my, my whole screen here. Look at that. I mean, it is just incredible. So I really wanted to show you guys this because this is my, one of my favorite things I have. And you just look at this and wow. So definite psychic booster for lapis. So, oh God, I could stare at that thing all day. You could really get lost in that. All right, everybody. Lapis lazuli. And this is getting a little heavy. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, everybody.